Bill and Ben are tank engine twins. Each has four wheels, a tiny chimney and dome, and a small squat cab. Their freight cars are filled with china clay. It is needed for pottery, paper, paint, and many other things. The twins are now kept busy pulling the cars for engines on the main line and for ships in the harbor. One morning they arranged some cars and went away for more. They returned to find them all gone. The twins were most surprised. Their drivers examined a patch of oil. That's diesel, they said. It's a waddle? asked Bill. A diseasel, I think, replied Ben. There's a notice about them in our shed. Coughs and sneezels spread diseasels. You had a cough in your smoke box yesterday. It's your fault the diseasel came. It isn't. It is. Stop arguing, you two, laughed their drivers. Let's go and rescue our freight cars. Bill and Ben were horrified. But the diseasel will magic us away like the freight cars. He won't magic us, replied their drivers. We'll more likely magic him. Listen, he doesn't know your twins, so we'll take away your names and numbers, and then this is what we'll do. Puffing hard, the twins set off on their journey to find the diesel. They were looking forward to playing tricks on him. Creeping into the yard, they found the diesel on a siding with the missing cars. Ben hid behind, but Bill went boldly alongside. The diesel looked up. Do you mind? Yes, said Bill. I do. I want my cars back. These are mine, said the diesel. Go away. Bill pretended not to be frightened. You're a big bully, he whimpered. You'll be sorry. He ran back and hid behind the cars on the other side. Ben now came forward. Car stealer, hissed Ben. He ran away too. Bill took his place. This went on and on till the diesel's eyes nearly popped out. Stop, you're making me giddy. The two engines gazed at him. Are there two of you? Yes, we're twins. I might have known it. Just then, Edward bustled up. Bill and Ben, why are you playing here? We're not playing, protested Bill. We're rescuing our cars, squeaked Ben. Even you don't take our cars without asking, but this diseasel did. There's no cause to be rude, said Edward severely. This engine is a Metropolitan Vickers Diesel Electric Type 2. The twins were most impressed. We're sorry, Mr. Er. Never mind, the diesel smiled. Call me Boko. I'm sorry I didn't understand about the cars. That's all right, then, said Edward. Now off you go, Bill and Ben. Fetch Boko's cars, then you take this lot. There's no real harm in them, he said to Boko, but they're maddening at times. Boko chuckled. Maddening, he said, is the word. Bill and Ben are the most mischievous engines working on Sir Topham Hatt's railway. They're kept busy pushing and pulling cars up and down the line that runs from the China Clay Works to the harbor yard. They like to have fun together and often play tricks on the workmen. But 
sometimes their teasing ways can get them into trouble. One morning, Sir Topham Hatt came to see them. Important goods have arrived in the big yard. Bill and Ben, I need you to help the other engines. Oh, yes, of course, sir, replied the twins. They set off happily on their important mission. Boko was resting in the yard when suddenly he heard a pair of familiar whistles. Hmm, sighed Boko. Here comes trouble. Sir Topham Hatt told us you were tired, teased Bill. He asked us to take all your cars for you. You two never stop, do you? But I'm wise to your pranks, and we do need help here. The twins were soon busy pushing and pulling the heavy cars into place. At last, the day's work was done. The twins now became excited. They were going to use the turntable for the first time. Bill went first. This is fun, he shrieked to Ben. He didn't want to move off at all. The foreman stopped the turntable. Please make way for the other engines, he ordered. Bill did so, but the foreman had accidentally stopped the turntable in the wrong place. Bill was on the wrong track, and there was Ben puffing directly toward him. The engines came to a grinding halt. They gazed grimly at each other. I was here first, said Bill. But you're in my way, protested Ben. You'll have to back up again. I won't. You will. I won't. Sir Topham Hatt came to stop the noise. If you don't behave, I shall not allow you here again. The next day, Ben was still grumpy. That Bill, imagine getting in my way on the turntable. He's a really silly engine. The way I heard it, sighed Boko, it sounded like you were both to blame. Puh, you must have heard it all wrong. The twins grumbled about each other all day. Even kind Edward lost patience. All this grumbling spreads bad atmosphere in the yard. You're quite right, and that's why I've come up with a plan. Boko whispered his plan to Edward. Then his driver told Sir Topham Hatt, I'll start making arrangements right away. The next morning, he called Bill and Ben into the yard. Boko is taking a special train to the harbor. His regular heavy goods train is waiting on the siding. You can pull it together. But, but, protested Bill and Ben, who were still not speaking to each other. Good. I knew I could rely on you two. I'll take the train myself, huffed Ben. Go right ahead, said Bill. Ben was coupled up to the train of freight cars, but they were too heavy for him to move alone. Go on, teased Bill. I can't, said Ben. Then suddenly both twins laughed. I don't think we'll take turns this time, Ben, said Bill. I think we'd better pull together. Ben was delighted. It was good to be helping each other. Best of all, it was good to be friends again. <laughs>